Each of these are a response to an object, a person, a place, a moment. So, I'm, so when I'm making these, when I'm creating the material for them, I'm responding to standing at that street corner, looking up at that building. This is what I see. This is how I see it. I'm interested in the everyday. You know, I've gone from um, constructing realities to, re, to, to more and more incessantly recording, and I always have the immediate world around me. So the, um, the idea of being able to look, record, play, and post, and share that with myself is really cool. I mean, I was first started working with video because it was instantaneous. You could see what you were recording instantly. You could close circuit it instantly. So you could work with it. It wasn't like uh, working with 35 mil or film where you had to send it to, to off to the dark room of the lab and whole printing process. The idea of the current smartphone I have as a mobile uh, creative recording production and delivery device is not a far stretch from the video porter pack that I had 40 years ago. When I began in the 70s, it really was about, you know, DIY. You know, we were very much um, um, wanted to be and needed to be, you know, in, in as much control of our own destinies. And that meant, you know, having some say or over our production, uh, presentation di and distribution of our own work. And that is still the kind of crux of why I do those things. You know, I'm, th I'm thankful that I'm still working today. And um, I think the technology, the audience, um, and delivery systems have kind of caught, are caught up to where I wanted things 40 years ago. You know, when I was making that work then, People were not very responsive to it. And I th think the ones that even um, um, were being nice to me about it really hated this stuff. They didn't get it. They came out of the plastic arts, you know, painting, sculpture. I think, think they had to put up with it because we didn't need to put up with it. But now, um, there's a whole generation, a couple of generations, who have grown up on this stuff. They get it. They automatically understand it. There's no more apologizing when someone, you know, they don't ask me, you know, so you're an artist, do you paint? And I say, I'm a media artist, they understand. Creativity is not all about the mat and the frame. So sometimes it's important to um, allow artists truly to have creative freedom freedom from the marketplace, freedom from f formal constraints, freedom from um, you know, you know, uh, critical analysis, freedom from peer review, the freedom just to go crazy. I am Paul Wong. Hi, I'm Paul Wong. Hi, I'm Uncle Paul. <laughs>